Hey guys, let's take a look at the Acer ET322QU 32 inch monitor. And I have recruited some great help here from the little fuzzy flower. I picked up this monitor for $200 at Micro Center Computers and Electronics. So basically I was looking for a good deal on a budget monitor and I was looking to upgrade from a full HD to a 1440, so a 2K monitor. So let's take a look at this one. So the reason why I'm doing this review is that I spent just so much time trying to find the right budget monitor. Uh, long videos, very in-depth, and it was just too much information. So I'm by no means a tech wizard, but I'm, what I'm hoping is that after this quick video, you'll know should I get this monitor or not. Okay, I'll be using this monitor for work, emails, YouTubing, and video editing. And it comes right out of the box, fully assembled. I did not expect that, so that was a great surprise. The overall height of the monitor and the stand, so from tabletop up to the top of the screen, is 21 inches. The screen itself is 17 inches if you're going to mount it on the wall. The monitor is 27 and a half inches wide with the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. The stand is a little bit wide, it's 21 inches. But again, that makes it also more stable. I love the way this monitor looks. Very clean, crisp, bezels look great, lightweight. Let's take a look at the connections at the bottom. We got the audio, the VGA, display port, HDMI, power on the other side. It's on the bottom, preferred on the side, but not a big deal. Just to compare to my 24 inch versus the new 32 inch. Big difference, gotta love it. From the front, looks great. From the side, not too thick at all. And remember, this is a light monitor. The wall mount is on there as well. And on my desk, I really like the way it looks. And the half inch bezels around all black. You can't see anything else, so you can just enjoy the screen. So the buttons, you saw me just turning it on. It's in the back, which at first I did not like. But now, I actually don't mind it at all. I don't see any buttons, I don't see any light shining. Just the screen. So in this stand at the bottom, you can see it's kind of wide, but it's not too bad at all. Hardly notice it now. From the back to the front of the stand is 9 inches. Okay, so 9 inches from the back of the desk forward. And also all the controls are in the back too. Actually fairly easy to move around. So let's take a look at the back. As you can see, connections, the buttons are right there, easy to get to. So let's see the difference in the resolutions on my two screens here. 32 inch versus the 24 inch. 1440 versus 1080. So I'm moving my browsers over and look at that. All that space just disappears. Moving them back, I got two full browsers up on my 32 inch. I even left a gap down the middle. So there's extra space. I am just loving this 1440. Big difference I feel like from the 1080 and it, the fact that it's 32 inches just makes it even better. There is no uh, height adjustment on this monitor but it sits up 5 inches from the desk so that's actually a very nice height that it starts with so I had no problem there. Looking straight into the monitor with a good posture, all good. So let's compare the 32 inch Acer 1440 to a 32 inch Dell 1080. So I got two full browsers and when I move them over you can see how they overlap like crazy. So that is a big difference. Exact same screen size but 1440 on the left and 1080 on the right. And you can see I move them back again two full web browsers up. I split them right down the middle of the screen. So this is a big difference. So um, I am really big fan of the 1440. Totally recommend it. So I'm definitely keeping this monitor $200, you can't beat it.